First question is from Luzin Katie. Why am I so sore sometimes and not others, even with a comparable workout? Yeah, this this is a mystery, okay? Um, we know there's certain things connected to soreness. So if you haven't done an exercise for a while, that will increase soreness. If you haven't exercised yeah. at all, that'll increase soreness. Novel stimulus. Lack of sleep, um, you know, having your fatty acid profile be off so it's more pro-inflammatory. Some exercises tend to cause more soreness. These are the ones that tend to load you in a stretched position. For example, you're more likely to have sore hamstrings from, let's say, a, a stiff-legged deadlift than you would be from leg curls. So it's, it's hard to say, but one thing is for sure that soreness does not indicate you, that you had a successful workout. It can tell you you did too much, like you went too hard. If you're really sore and you're sore for longer than a day or two, you probably overdid it, but... There's a lot of mystery around soreness. We we still don't quite understand why or what or what's happening in the body. I mean, e everything you're saying spot on and true. And then to add to that, I would like to know what a comparable workout is because if it's not the exact same workout, right. all it takes is one novel stimulus to be in That's your right. in your program, mm -hmm. and you're going to get sore as hell. So you may think because you do uh, barbell back squats every single workout that you train and you and and then this this series of, of movements afterwards that are and then today you did lunges you did lunges yeah. or bulgarian split squats or even front squats which are really similar but not similar enough that that little bit of a change of stimulus mm -hmm. is enough to make the body feel really sore if it's a movement that you haven't been practicing consistently so not that everything you didn't say that like, it could be yeah. that like if you did it so if she said i do the exact same workout every single every day and then for some reason, sometimes I'm sore, sometimes I'm not, that would, I think, allude more to the direction that you yeah, were going yeah. with. Because even then, I mean, I've I've noticed that too with people going and extending their range of motion, which they didn't realize. And it's just like, it's just a natural thing. You get more comfortable with that specific exercise and maybe you're just performing it with more depth this time or like you're doing it at a different pace or, you know, there's just certain like variables and characteristics that can contribute towards that. Yeah. Um, we do know that like uh, the negative portion of a rep tends to cause more soreness. Um, loading in a stretch position tends to cause more soreness. For example, you're more likely to get sore from a heavy chest fly with dumbbells than you would from cables uh, because uh, flies you tend to load heavier on the stretch. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, uh, it doesn't tell you, it, it tells you if you did too much, but I could make myself sore right now with the same intensity and everything, but just by changing the exercises yeah. and some exercises, like I said, are more likely to make you sore. It's, it's pretty rare that I'd get sore from, let's say, uh, a lateral side lateral. I could beat the shit out of my shoulders mm -hmm. side laterals. Um, but if I did, uh, like an overhead press, I'm more likely uh, to get sore. So, but it doesn't tell you a whole lot. And, and I, I hate giving answers like that, but it's I just know. true. Well, and there's degrees of it too, right? Like you said, like you really know when you overdid it, when it's like, it's hard to even move and function the next day uh, versus like when you're just, you feel like a tightness yeah. and you feel like a little bit of a restriction, you know, it's like, okay, that's probably a decent I, spot. I get way less sore from heavy weight and really low reps than I do from my reps. Period, end of story. All things being equal, right? If it's novel, that's different. But let's say- consistently working out one way or the other. If I'm doing 12 to 14 reps, I'm way more likely to get sore than if I'm doing sets of like three reps. I almost never get sore from the low reps, but I can feel it. I can feel that I worked out. It feels a little different. Does that mean one's more effective than the other? No. I mean, the key word in this to me is comparable. The yeah. fact that they used comparable uh, and not exactly the same, because if it was exactly the same, then I'm troubleshooting yeah. like you are but if you say comparable to me i'd be like well comparable in what sense you follow the same sets and reps or you follow the exact same exercises because changing either one of those could easily make the difference totally. of you being sore if you always train in the eight to ten rep ranges all of a sudden you go three to five in that workout but same exercises like you're probably going to get sore mm -hmm. and same thing goes if you always train uh the tempo you can't even change the tempo yeah so i mean comparable to what is what i would want to know to like really be able to give you a more specific answer Thank you.